Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between microeconomics and macroeconomics. So friends, without further ado, let's get started. Friends, before understanding our main topic, first let us know what is economics. So friends, economics is the study of the way in which human beings make choices for the allocation of scarce resources in order to satisfy unlimited human wants. Hence, the consumers can maximize their satisfaction level, producers can maximize their profits and society can maximize its social welfare. So what is microeconomics? The term micro in microeconomics means small. So in microeconomics, we study small or single unit of the economy. In other words, it is the microscopic study of the economy. Here, by the term small units, we mean individual units, that is a firm, a consumer, a product, a household, etc. It explains how an individual consumer, producer and household contribute in the functioning of the entire economic system. Hence, in microeconomics, we deal with income of the household, pricing of the firm, wages of a worker, profit of an entrepreneur, etc. The study revolves around the interaction between consumers and producers in the economy. In this, we analyze how an individual consumer allocates his income among different products and services in order to maximize satisfaction by prioritizing the needs. It also explains how a particular firm decides at what price to sell the product, how much to produce, how to reduce production cost, etc. Alternatively, microeconomics is called price theory or value theory. Further, it is based on the assumption that macro variables in an economy are constant. Now coming to macroeconomics, while micro means small, macro implies large. To be more precise, the I in microeconomics means individual, while A in macroeconomics means aggregates. Hence, macroeconomics deals with the economic activity as a whole, that is, it studies the whole economic system. It addresses the problems faced by the entire economy. In a nutshell, Macroeconomics is all about study of the behavior of broad economic aggregates or we could say big issues that is aggregate demand, total consumption, total employment, total output, general price level, gross domestic product, etc. It explains how the total output of goods and services are determined. Alternatively, it is called as aggregative economics. It assumes that the allocation of resources, distribution of output, relative prices, etc. are given. Moving on to the difference between micro and macroeconomics. Meaning, when the economic problems of choice are studied and addressed at individual level, it is microeconomics. However, when the economic problems of choice are studied and addressed countrywide, it is macroeconomics. Unit of study. While in microeconomics, we study the economic behavior of individual economic units it ascertains how an individual, be it producer or consumer, makes decision and what are the factors that affect such decisions. Macroeconomics studies the economy as a whole and not just a part of it. In simple words, we can say microeconomics studies trees, that is individual units. Macroeconomics studies the whole forest, that is economy. Focus of study. Microeconomics studies price determination, income of household, demand for a good or service in the market, supply of the commodity, and output of the firm. On the other hand, macroeconomics deals with broad economic aggregates, such as national income, total employment, total output, general price level, etc. Tools Demand and supply of a particular commodity or factors of production are the basic tools of microeconomics, whereas aggregate demand and aggregate supply of the goods and services are the basic tools of macroeconomics. Subject matter. The subject matter of microeconomics is price, whereas the subject matter of macroeconomics is income. In microeconomics, units like individuals, households and producers make decisions based on the prices prevailing in the market. But in macroeconomics, the decisions concerning aggregate consumption, aggregate investment is based on national income. Next. View of economy. While microeconomics is the bottom up view of the economy, macroeconomics is the top down view of the economy. So, guys, this is all for today. 
I hope the concept of microeconomics and macroeconomics is clear to you now. However, if you want to study the topic further in detail, you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com. Here you can find a detailed comparison of micro and macroeconomics along with their definitions. Links are also provided in the description box below. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Also, if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos, consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbhi signing off.